There's a flapper target set up at 300 yards. We have a different gap tin out today to show you the consistency between guns. This is a 6mm Creedmoor. To show you it's not strictly a prone position gun, I'm going to shoot four shots from sitting. Then I'm going to go to prone and get some more precise shot placement.
tell the Gap 10 is easy to shoot quickly and without having to work a bolt, it allows you to get accurate shot placement rapidly. To demonstrate how precise and easy follow-up shots can be with a semi-auto gun, we're going to shoot two separate targets at 500 yards. We have 10 rounds in the magazine. We're going to engage one, then the other, and at the end we should essentially have two five-shot groups that were fired very rapidly. Our resetting target isn't going down, but you can easily hear the hits, and you can see that since you don't have to work a bolt, this gun allows you quick and accurate follow-up shots, and you can tell with our barrel work that we do, as the barrel heats up, the point of impact remains the same. We showed you that the Gap 10 performs well at short and mid-range, and offers quick follow-up shots. Now we're going to show you the precision offered at long range, and shoot a five-shot group at 1,000 yards. This 6mm bullet doesn't have a lot of energy, so we may not be able to hear impacts well from this range. Again, you can see this rifle in this particular cartridge has almost no recoil and allowed us to shoot a five-shot group very fast. Thank <laughs> you.